Andor, Minister for International Relations and Cooperation um, of South Africa, who is in Namibia on a diplomatic consultation. A very good evening to you, Dr. Pandor, once again. Thank you so much for joining us. Good evening. Firstly, Dr. Pandor, perhaps you can start by reflecting on your engagements with your Namibian counterpart, Netumbo Nandin Daitwa, and also that engagement um, with the President Yemo. Well, I think it's important to always recall that South Africa and Namibia are old comrades in arms. We are good friends. We share common perspectives on global affairs, regional affairs, and continental affairs. So our meeting today was to give greater impetus to our cooperation. We also have agreed to work toward convening the binational commission between South Africa and Namibia. The commission will be chaired by our heads of state. It last met in 2015, and we think it's time for it to meet now. Uh, obviously, a very long overdue meeting between the two heads of states there. But in the interim, how are you making up for these lack of engagements at that level? Uh, well, our heads of state meet consistently. I must say, every meeting in which uh, South Africa and Namibia participate, our heads of state have a bilateral meeting. They enjoy a very warm relationship as do myself and Minister of International Relations and Cooperation. So it's the fact that our binational commission has not met, has not detracted from the very strong solidarity between Namibia and South Africa. Yeah. Dr. Pando, of course, we know that Namibia and South Africa have shared interests, but particularly in uh, political stability as well as economic integration. And one of the factors currently uh, posing great danger to these interests is, of course, the situation in South Africa. Um, the sentiments were shared there by the president with regards to concerns around um, imports to Namibia. Just, Minister, at this particular point in time, what can you tell us about the trade relations um, in the wake of the South African unrest here? Well, the, the, the movement of, go of goods continues uh, unabated and the government is working hard to show that we don't have a disruption to supply uh, of export uh, uh, requirements. So uh, we, our borders remain open and the engagement uh, between uh, the business sector in Namibia and that of South Africa continues. We are restoring uh, calm and stability in South Africa as we speak. Um, and we are confident uh, that the violence and criminality we've seen over the past few days will be ended by our security forces. That's fantastic news. Uh, That's fantastic news. Other issues concerning um, the region is, of course, the issue in Mozambique. Uh, we know that you were part of a, a, a Troika ministers that visited uh, pardon me, that visited Eswatini as well, which is another issue of concern. Uh, Minister Pandor, what are we doing in regards to these developments here? Well, with respect to Mozambique, our heads of state at an extraordinary summit in June agreed that uh, we should have a deployment of the SADC standby force to Mozambique and that this should happen in this week. So I understand that uh, Namibia will be signing the authority to allow the deployment of this force. Uh, countries have already offered uh, uh, troops uh, to that assignment, and I'm sure SADC will make the necessary announcements. So that matter uh, is being addressed by SADC. On uh, the matter of Eswatini, Eswatini has requested the, the Troika chair for the three countries that are the Troika, Zimbabwe, uh, South Africa's incoming chair, and Botswana, to assign technical experts to be deployed uh, for a number of days to Eswatini to meet both the authorities and the broader stakeholders in order to make an evaluation and assessment of what occurred in the past uh, uh, two weeks and then to report to the SADC summit in August on uh, what has occurred so that SADC may make a decision as to the next step. 
Mr. Pando, any final remarks from you? What is your message um, to the nation of South Africa, to Namibians and the rest of the SADC region as a big brother of this, na of, of this part of the, of the continent here? Well, really, my message is to thank Namibia for the solidarity and friendship that we've enjoyed over so many decades. And uh, myself and Minister Ntembo have committed to ensuring that we build a stronger relationship, that we position South Africa and Namibia to make active use of the African continental free trade area, which we believe is an important opportunity for greater industrialization and productivity for uh, countries on the African continent. We think uh, intra-African trade offers a wonderful opportunity uh, to both our countries and to the entire SADC region. We committed that we must maintain peace, security, and democracy in the region because these are the features that make us one of the most stable uh, regions on the African continent. And it's vitally important that we don't lose those very important aspects of our political character. No, thank you so much for joining us this evening. A pleasant evening to you, Ian. For international relations and cooperation of South Africa, um, Dr. Naledi Pandor speaking to us about her visit, a diplomatic consultation that is with the Namibian counterpart Netumbo Nandindaitwa, where she also sat down with the head of state. You are watching.